Hey guys, Steve here at the DJ Lab, taking a look at the Denon DJ Prime Go, and I've got a little tip and trick here for you. Take a look, and you're gonna see something up there. See, that's Virtual DJ, right? And of course, I got a USB cable plugged in, because this thing runs as a standalone, thanks to the new firmware update, which is 2.3.0. But, check this out. See everything running smooth, right? Well, shift view, bigger waveform. So you've seen me do a video about this just a little bit ago, and everyone's talked about. But here's the difference. Check this out. See the MacBook Pro underneath with the lid closed? That's the whole deal right there. I don't have this hooked up to an external monitor. I have no keyboard plugged in, no mouse, no anything. The lid is closed. Um, this is using Catalina, but I'm pretty sure this will work on everything. So let me just show you quickly. Move this aside for a sec. And I'm gonna unplug the RCAs. Now take a look what's going on here. So number one, here's an interesting thing. Let's see if we can get some of that glare off from my Nanoleaf lights back there with this glossy screen. Um, for some reason, watch this. You see, like, it's staggering really bad, and it's also staggered on the screen. So this is a mid-2012 MacBook Pro, but when I put on the settings, all of a sudden, it runs smooth. Now, I couldn't DJ on a screen like that, could I? But, when I close the lid, right, and I get that going, it's running smooth. Don't ask me why, but hey, if you got an older Mac and you wanna do this trick, this works. Let me get this out of the way again, and show you what's going on here. So here's what you got to do. Let me just get this down, reduce this down. It's all about terminal. I've been searching for this for so long now. So long. This is the command right here. Don't mind the dust. I see that? The sudo pm set dash a disable sleep one. You go in the terminal, you type that in, and guess what? You shut your MacBook down. Look, see? When I shut the, this, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see that the screen actually does turn off, but it stays running. This is a game changer. This is really, really something. Um, I've been looking for this for so long. There's apparently apps that will do this stuff. Um, look at me. There I am right there. Hey, guys. Um, so used to using the Alienware with the matte screen. Um, but anyways, there's dongles that you plug in that mimic having a monitor and you need a mouse plug in. I've seen all kinds of different ways to go into clamshell mode. It used to be a thing, um, but this works. This was simple. If you want to put it back to normal, you type in the same command, disable sleep and put zero. That's it. That's all you need to do. And then this is interesting too. It says display sleep prevented by virtual DJ. It tells you everything that prevents the sleep. This is good. Um, so yeah, that's my tip and trick. So now you got yourself a battery powered system with a screen. You got your MacBook Pro running on battery power as well. It's still a portable system. And now you have access to so much more. You know, like, look at this. You got Deezer, you got the IDJ Pool, the VJ Pro, Digit Tracks for karaoke. Um, you got your SoundCloud Beatport link, Tidal, Beat Source. It's just, it's great. You got the listen advice, um, CDJ export stuff. If you want to export stuff from CDJ. Virtual DJ is great. So now this system is like on steroids. 
and having the ability to just clamshell up your MacBook Pro, slide it underneath, you know what I mean? It's still a nice small setup. Anyways, that's it. Hopefully this video wasn't too long and hopefully it was very informative. Leave some comments, subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. I'll talk to you all soon.